when the pan leaks, try to hammer it flat. Yep, it was all tweaked in that corner. Still is a little bit. Maybe we'll stop leaking. It was leaking right there. Get our pan support. Straighten that out. Uh, all forged bottom end 305. Yep. Kind of balanced at the drill holes and then kind of went. Felt Pro gasket broke on all four corners. I think I'm going to slap on a GM gasket this time. Oil pump. New torque converter. Ooh. So you do not need to remove the transmission uh, inspection cover. It's very hard to do without dropping the pipe, so just slide it out of the way. Right there. It stays over there. Slide it back. Easy. You don't need to lift up the engine on the two-wheel drive model when taking off your oil pan. And, uh, yeah, that's all we got for now. Pretty straightforward job. Just make sure your pan is straight. Because mine wasn't. GM gasket won't fit. Um, excuse me for the short video. I feel like nauseous, like I'm gonna throw up. This, is, this, this garage just reeks like oil and gas. Oh, it smells fucking horrible out here. Yeah, it smells horrible in that garage. So, we are completing an oil pan job for the fucking fourth time. Gonna fucking have my microbatch on. My style with the movie. Oh my god, this garage smells so bad. I don't know, does anyone else get affected by like oil? She's sitting so close to it, just laying underneath, you know, a car, oil dripping all over you. It's one of the worst jobs ever. And, um, working in a tight garage. Not fun. Alright, we're gonna take one of these. We're gonna take one of those. And, uh, we're gonna fill it up tomorrow. But yeah, I'll show you what we did in a minute. But I'll just show you what I deal with over here. As people think their act's easy. It's not here. Should show you. Oh my, look at the strips everywhere. Right there. And oil pan back up underneath there. So anyway. So pro gasket, but not leak this time. Uh, the edges of the pan are bent, so I um, straighten them out. Like I said, I feel nauseous, so if I get myself puking on camera, it would be awesome. Blah. This gets to your head, that smells horrible. It's horrible. I guess you would feel the same way if you actually drink oil. Just by breathing it in and getting it out of your lungs and your system, and it's a smell. Horrible. Horrible. Alright, so we'll get that for tomorrow. Put the filter back on. If we're still alive by then. And I was watching this. Um, that has to go back in that bag for another project. Truck needs oil. The inspection cover needs to go on. The bolts are over there. And uh, one final retorquing of the oil pan. I put my battery back on. I'll be a runner. And clean up the mess. Oil, the old uh, oil pan gasket ripped. Was in good shape. And I gotta get out of here. Really, I feel like I'm gonna throw up in the video. Throw up because we're going just like this one. I don't care. It's not a how-to video of people, it's just more of a blog. That's kind of a rough to. Doing another oil pan in the condo garage because it's um, not that hot out. Maybe only around 70. Not so bad. Oil pan. It's on. Didn't puke yet, still feel like it. Yeah, it's probably a warning sign from all these chemicals I'm using. If you feel nosy and dizziness, please immediately move to fresh air. I feel it. Alright, this thing barely fits in here. That's a really awesome thing. 
And it works with no garage. Okay. We're done. Hopefully this thing will run tomorrow. Hopefully I'll still be around. <laughs>